Hello everyone, my name is Yulia Akisheva and today I'm here with my fellow team members to present the next SG France, the local event of SGC in France in Toulouse, which will be this year, and further the activities of our giant leap. So I would like to just mention that this webinar is being recorded because we would like to reach a larger audience afterwards. And thank you so much for being here. This is one of the first steps towards achieving diversity and inclusion in the aerospace sector is by being here, by becoming aware and by sharing whatever knowledge we can acquire and share all together. So today I'm joined by Clara and Nicola, who are in charge of the delegates team for the event SG France 2020, which holds the name of the new initiative that we started about a year ago, Our Giant Leap. And first of all, I will let them present about the event itself, the event that will be held in Toulouse. And then I will tune back in to present further activities of our giant leap because it's a large initiative that goes beyond just a single event. And we would like you to become part of it. So thanks again for joining. And let's begin. I give the floor over to Clara and Nicola. So hi, everyone. So I'm, I'm Nicola, and uh, I'm going to present you the, uh, our event, uh, SG France, Our Giant Leap. So we started from a simple question, which is why are there so few women in the aerospace sector? And our idea was to, to raise awareness about this fact, but also to, to set up a network of uh, asp aspiring women in aerospace and also current women in, in aerospace. And this could could help inspire the younger generations, the younger women, to pursue a career in uh, in aerospace. And for that, we're gonna we're going to provide concrete recommendations to space organization and to all these people in order to to acknowledge this fact and to inspire younger women. So the event we are, we are organizing is going to happen on September 26th um, this year in Toulouse, in, uh, in Isae Superhero, which is a, a school of engineering. It will be a full day event and we will be glad to welcome 60 to 80 uh, delegates. So I, we all hope it's going to be you, students and young professionals. And uh, the event will be in English. To, to, to tell you a little bit about uh, the program of the day, we will start by um, a welcoming coffee and uh, an introduction to, to the event. And we will follow by three inspirational speeches. Then there will be a debate and just, be, just before lunch, uh, a, a discussion about this debate. And then for the afternoon, uh, people will be split in, um, in workshops during three round tables. And before the next working cocktail, we will uh, wrap everything we learned during the day. I'm going to let you, Clara, present the four uh, workshops to you. OK, thanks, Nicola. So yes, as Nicola has just said, uh, there will be like four workshops in the, in the afternoon. And uh, so you can only be part of one because like we felt it's uh, more, it's better for you. Um, the workshops are divided into three different stations. Uh, the first one being the presentation from the experts. We will have expert review explaining what they know. And then you will be able to, to speak up, to raise ideas and to make uh, the conclusion and to present uh, what you've been uh, doing uh, to everyone. Um, so the first one table is about tackling discrimination and gender bias. So in fact, it's about making the difference between gender bias and discrimination how you can um, change it, how you can improve it in your working environment. Um, the next one table is meant in strategies because we felt like it was important also to have uh, a mentor um, to, to empower the, the diversity in the space sector. So uh, we will talk about how, how we can be a good mentee, how we can be a good mentor, uh, and what we, what mentorship strategies we can have in companies or in schools. Um, the next round table is uh, tips to make the work environment and conditions more inclusive. So basically, it's everything you can do in your working environment to to have a better diversity 
um, so that men and women feel both more more equals, more equitable. Um, so once again, you will have experts helping you, and uh, we hope you will be here to raise many ideas. And the last round table is uh, fill the gaps in the female oriented space research. So this one is a little, little different because it's more related to science. Um, we noticed that there, uh, there was a lack of um, research on uh, women in the, in the space science. And we, we felt it was important to raise this point and uh, to, to see if we can do something to, to have more, more research um, targeting women. Um, so to, to have this whole, um, this whole event, you have also, of course, the event managers with, who are Lulia and Pauline. Uh, so Lulia is here tonight. And um, we have a full team of uh, 14 people divided into different, um, different sub-teams. So Nicola and I, we are the delegate teams. So we are basically your, your point of contact. So if you have any questions, uh, you can ask us. We are here to, to help you. And then I think, Nicola, you can talk about the procedure. Yes. So for, for the one who are really interested in the event, is it, it's, it is still time to apply, of course. So you have until Sunday, August 9th. And um, then two weeks later, we will announce the selected delegates. And then you will have two weeks to, to pay the, uh, the 20 euro uh, attendant fee. And uh, before the event, we will send you a handbook with all the information you need to know about uh, the event and the roundtables. And uh, we will also add you to, to a specified um, WhatsApp group in order you to, to ask the question more, more easily. And um, if, if, if I wanted to give you five reasons to join, uh, you have to, to uh, it's a really great op uh, opportunity to learn about gender equality and equity. It's also I'm going to have an impact uh, by participating to the roundtables. You will learn many things and you will be able to share your ideas to meet experts from the space sectors. And if it's your first event in SGAC, it's going to be a, a great moment to, to discover the, the SGAC and its network. So I think, um, I think we're all going to have fun uh, on the 26th of September if you, if you all come to Toulouse. Um, I'm going to... If you, yes, uh, if you're interested uh, in the event or if you have any questions, you can contact us, Clara and I, for any uh, delegate question related, and um, eventually on on, on, a more, on a bigger uh, bigger question, you can also ask uh, Julia on or Pauline. Um, and now I'm gonna let Julia present you uh, the World Our Giant Leap Initiative because it's not only this event, but it's part of a of a bigger thing. Thank you, Nicola, and thank you, Clara. Thank you both for this presentation. So if you indeed have questions right now, either you drop them in the chat already or you keep them for after my small talk because we dedicated a whole half hour today for your questions around our events, our initiative, and maybe even more generic questions about diversity and gender equity and gender equality. So don't hesitate and don't be shy because that's a very important part of this whole process is asking the right questions and even more importantly to asking them from all kinds of different perspectives because otherwise we will just treat a huge and global issue in a very narrow-minded way. So we need everyone to be part of this discussion. And now a little bit more on a global larger scale about our giant leap. So as we've said before, it's not just a one-time event type of initiative because we realized this is a, first of all, global issue. It's an issue that has been historically proven uh, over and over again that it persists. And so we feel like there needs to be a more cohesive and global and persistent effort to challenge this issue. So we've launched several activities already with our giant leap. And the first one that we did was a video, an inspirational video about the team members of our giant leap presenting their inspirations and their um, answers to the question why they are part of this and why it's important to talk about it. It's meant to, for you to learn about um, why we are here for you to maybe get inspired by why the different team members that we have from coming from actually five uh, na nationalities of five countries 
and um, from both genders, um, why we're all here, why we're all talking about it. Maybe you can get inspired. Maybe you will see something that you uh, re can respond to. And then hopefully uh, you will get interested in what we have to say. We can go on. Then we launched another video. We've been actually quite active with videos so with our gently because it may be the new way to communicate today to a larger audience. In fact, we're trying to, in all our activities, to reach out to a larger audience. So through videos or article writing or popular popular article writing or more scientific type of article writing, etc. We're trying to reach out to a larger audience. And the second video we did was actually to try and present facts in a more fun and um, and closer to the larger audience way. So we presented facts about being a woman in the aerospace sector. And you can find anything there from being addressed in a different way uh, between females and males in a professional environment to concrete issues and problems that women face today as part of the sector. And we give also our references. So watch this video, you're getting the links in the chat right now, so you can get um, access to both of the videos and anything that we're presenting today, if you're interested, and uh, reach out to us if you would like to get more information about whatever you find in our materials, because we are more than happy to provide it for you, and more than happy to include you in this process and in this conversation. Yet another video, but this time we've uh, coordinated the video that was kindly produced and provided um, by the two SGC executive directors. So one that just left her birth, de Kopman, and the new executive director, David De Petrillo, they have joined a small conversation through this video. And the aim was to inspire and give us an a meaningful message about why it is important to talk about diversity and gender uh, equity and gender equality and inclusion for such an organization as SGC and actually beyond for the whole space sector. From the very get-go, uh, so we started working with on our joint deep and on uh, SG France about a year ago now, actually a year ago exactly, from the get-go, we decided that we would have to try and actually reach out not only to the immediate audience of the space sector. So when you think about the space, you probably think a lot about engineers and scientists and mechan mechanical uh, workers, etc. So to include people who come from different backgrounds, we try to reach out to a new type of audience through our call for artistic creations, the call for artwork, where we reached out to any kind of artists. So we've not only gotten the painting style artwork, we also got even musical creations and video creations. And hopefully we will still receive many other types of creations, maybe art installations and whatever, songs, and we've received poems as well. So the idea is to unite through any kinds of artistic creations under the theme of women in our space. And it's been so amazing to see how people actually managed to raise these difficult, critical at times issues of being a woman in our space or generally about women in our space and the inspiration they bring to the sector about the past, from the past, so the figures from the past, and also looking into the future, so for example, going to Mars or the moon, etc. It's been just very empowering and inspiring and we feel like we're going somewhere right with this because we've managed to actually reach out to a lot of artists from all over the world and that's so beautiful. And what we've done with that so far is that we're going to have an exhibition during SG France 2020 in Toulouse of the artistic creations that we have received until then. And so far already we've participated in the Space Gen United. That's the event that's gonna happen on a global scale at SGC. So together with our Gen Leap and the team of the Space Gen United, we've co-organized um, this sub call for artwork to um, then choose several people who have won to go and participate in the Space Gen United. 
and they're going to give a talk about their artistic creation. So in case you're going to participate in that event, stay tuned and connect and definitely talk to those people because it's just been amazing to get to receive so many artistic creations on this important topic. This confidence boost is an example of how we are trying to stay in touch with our audience. So we've launched an activity that I'm going to talk about a little bit later. Again, uh, we are trying to get your questions and try to answer them in a cohesive way as much as we can. So this particular confidence boost started with a question, why are women not applying in the same way as men, in the same quantity as men, to great aerospace careers and new positions and jobs at many companies? We started thinking about this question. It led us to a lot of research and we've st uh, stumbled upon this unequal confidence between men and women in general on average. So we've come up with a response with a confidence boost, which is a communications campaign to start and drag attention to, to bring attention to this issue and hopefully to underline some biases and some just cognitive errors that we keep on making both men and women. And maybe once we at least start noticing them, maybe we can try to avoid them at some point or at least talk about them. And hopefully this will help to build confidence in both men and women when they apply for jobs. We've also been active on the webinars, just like today. The first webinar that we've launched was co-hosted with the Waya E, that's the Women in Our Space European branch and the, the one that's based in Toulouse. So we've invited two women from Waya E and two women from the SGAC to talk about diversity and even more uh, precisely about inclusion of women in the space sector. So they have shared their unique experiences and it's been very, very actually touching because they did go into detail about the little anecdotes, both exciting and also sometimes a little bit misfortunate to show the different situations and their importance in the discussion about inclusi inclusivity, inclusion. Because without the stories, without the real human touch, we will never be able to treat the real problems that women are experiencing in the field. And more so, they gave, they gave lots of tips on to how we both can behave. And when I say both, I really should say all men and women uh, all over the globe, how we can maybe try to look a little bit different and what we can do uh, to be more inclusive on all levels. We then hosted another webinar focusing a little bit more on the future. So this time we invited Barbara Imhoff to talk about her uh, work as a space architect and also the role of women in the future space exploration. So it's a lot about the future of lunar exploration and where she would see the role of women and inclusivity and di diversity in it. And uh, don't forget that you're getting all the links in the chat to all webinars, so you can watch them and uh, get back to us and tell us what you think. Now, this most recent um, activity that we started, we launched a Slack platform, and that was one of the ways that we responded to our promises. Very early on, we promised that we would deliver a networking platform for people who are interested all over the globe in these issues. So mainly starting with the SGC, of course, because our giant leap is part of SGC, but we would like to also open up this conversation to our experts who are not necessarily SGC members and people who are generally interested. So people who are maybe from other organizations like Women in Aerospace to join this platform and discuss different uh, solutions to maybe propose new solutions in our idea box, discuss them and maybe implement them on a global level. So we invite you, uh, if you're here, that means you're interested and means that you perhaps should at least take a look at the platform and maybe you will find your spot in it and maybe you will be inspired by any ideas that we post there. We also post all the resources that we use for anything that we do 
there. And we also post anything that we produce. So for example, the confidence boost uh, campaign will be up there that you then can use and spread. And if you go to give a talk in a school or anywhere, maybe a school is a bit too early for the confidence boost precisely, but anywhere you go, you can take the material. It's free for you to use because the idea is to spread the knowledge and the ideas as much as we can. And on that note, I have to add that the confidence boost is currently being translated to as many languages as we possibly can. We've already got about seven languages down. And so that's another way for you, another why for you to join Slack. So if you would like to help and boost the confidence in your region, in your country, in your native language or the, na or the language that you speak very well, if you'd like to reach out to those people, reach out to us in Slack and then we'll find for you a way for you to integrate into this campaign and you would, you would feel empowered by helping to boost up the confidence in your uh, preferred or um, language you, you, you know really well. And now a little bit of further ideas. So I started to mention about this first one is hashtag ask OGL, so ask our Leap. That's our way to connect with SGC members uh, in the first place, but not only because we, you, anybody can do, use the hashtag. And the idea is to ask us questions or propose uh, research areas or new ideas for us to look into. So please use this, spread this, mention this, ask a uh, hashtag, ask our giant leap. Even if you don't have a question today, just keep in mind and any time a question pops up, just don't hesitate to use it. The idea is that we use your your ideas or your questions or maybe something that is has been an issue that you just noticed. We use it, we research on it, and then we produce something of hopefully of value, of power, that something can help and solve this issue. We are looking into launching podcasts where we would like to shine light onto the stories of fantastic members of the SJC because it's important to, in, in building up, a more diverse uh, sector. We need to embrace the diversity that people bring to it. So in shining light on the stories of people, we feel that we can empower them and reach out to more audiences because you know the next generation, they have to see that there are people like them that they see on, on TV or on the equivalent of TV of today. So on YouTube or on podcasts and uh, whatever media. If people, next generation, will see people that they can relate to, they will feel empowered to be able to pursue whatever they feel like they want to do. So it is important to shine lights on the untold stories from all over the world. And that's actually another way, another uh, place where you can help us a lot because we would like to reach out to a, bright, uh, a broad audience. And we can do a podcast on you or you can help us do it, especially if you have done one before. So get in touch with us. If that interests, if that sparks an interest in you. We will continue with webinars and online presentations because that's one way which is easy to reach out to a large audience and we feel like uh, we can get a good response, we can continue working in this way and uh, maybe spec uh, focus specifically on any given topic and subtopic. So it's a good platform for us. One exciting idea that we will implement um, is to support the ESA Next ESA astronaut campaign. So we've heard that ESA is going to launch a next call for astronauts, and we know it's open to everyone um, of the European nationalities that ESA represents. And what we would like to do is to support the campaign to boost up the numbers of women who apply, because it just doesn't match up. If you look at the numbers of women who technically correspond to the profile and who um, perhaps would like to and aspire for such a career and the number of women who do actually apply, it just doesn't match up. So we would like to support the ESA astronaut campaign and boost, again, the confidence, the interest, the awareness, even of the necessary profile, because people don't know that and think sometimes that they are just not right for that. Well, it's not the case. So we would like to support this uh, campaign. And for that, we need actually a lot of boost, a lot of communication, a lot of innovative ideas to reach out to a large audience and where to do that best, if not at SGC. 
And then another exciting idea is to support the first woman or woman women on Mars together with the new partner of our giant leap. It's the uh, Association Planète Mars, which is, stands for the French branch of the Mars Planet Society. And they would like to focus with us in a close relationship, in a close partnership on their astronaut campaign. So they launch a lot of analog missions, uh, which are aimed at Mars, at future Mars exploration. And there has been a lot of talk recently, of course, inspired by the next uh, missions to the moon, the fact that we will bring the first woman on the moon, and then the further exploration of Mars, that it should include women. And we need to actually support that woman in the sense that Clara has mentioned before that there is a, a sometimes um, a hole in the knowledge about women, female body, physiology, psychology, etc., when applied to space. So, in order to be able to send the first woman to Mars, we need to support her. So, in setting up experiments, in setting up strategic plans on how to tackle all of these missing information, all this data gap we will try to support the, um, the next missions to Mars. And of course, we do want to help um, with the organization of similar events. We want to host spin-off events. Uh, we've already hosted a couple of events locally in Toulouse and in Paris, which were focused on special specific parts of uh, the in preparation for SG France. So we've hosted local discussions about, for example, uh, implicit bias and stereotyping and uh, try to discuss with the audience what those are, how they are different and how we can tackle them. So we would like to continue with the organization of spin-off events and more importantly we would love to help you if you are now thinking about making a similar event in your local community. We, we are there we are there to help you to organize, to look into how it could all come together because we've been working on it for a year and we would, not, we would love to bring on this knowledge onto someone else and to spread this vision across the globe. And so if you are enthusiastic about it, just reach out to us because that would be just lovely. And that's the whole point is that we spread this vision across the globe. So I believe with this, we finished what we have prepared to tell you about SG France 2020 and our giant leap more generally. So now we are on time for the Q&A. Please just don't hesitate to ask your questions now about the event or about our initiatives, uh, about the new ideas you might have, something you've heard, Anything that's on your mind, please don't hesitate. Just um, tune in and ask your questions. Julia, if you don't mind, just to warm up a little bit. Um, what the, what have been your 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 feedback? So, what people are 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 getting back to you about the event, about their expectations on on the event. So generally the feedback has been very positive and receiving. So people like to see these kind of events happening and it's a rightful place that SGC is doing such an event. And for the expectations, uh, people would like to, to see the event to be open to both genders. That's number one because we've heard that repeatedly and we've also tried to emphasize it repeatedly that it's not an event for women by women. It's actually an event for everyone by everyone because promoting women and gender equality, gender equity and diversity will not only benefit women. So we have to understand that it will benefit everyone in that sense. It's actually an event beneficial for everyone. And it's been Great to see that we have a diverse audience that are interested in the event and the, our activities. But that's one uh, kind of expectation that the, the event will be open to everyone. Then of course that we would also try to open up to a global audience. So we would try to um, tackle the issues from different perspectives. Because you know, even if you're talking about implicit bias or if you're talking about stereotyping, it's not the same thing to talk about it in Europe as it is in 
Latin America or Asia. Not the same, not, not the same in details, you know. So it would be another expectation would be to try and integrate different ideas and perspectives into our discussions so that the recommendations that we provide afterwards would be also diverse and applicable to a large audience. And generally, I'm happy to see that people are receiving very well the very fact that we're doing this event. So that's just fantastic. And for example, um, our sponsors, uh, you can learn about them online or ask us just uh, later. But our sponsors are also very proud and they have been even um, try to push us to really hold this event despite Corona outbreak, for example. So that's just fantastic that people are really... Uh, trying to stay with us on this. You are fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, please continue. There is Tristan Knight who's asking, will we be able to listen to the talks if we can't make it to the event? So, um, so far we have not previewed to register the whole event because it will be the whole day. Maybe Nicola, if you could go back to the, to the program. Meanwhile, so we will have three inspirational speeches in the beginning of the event, and uh, that will be TEDx-like inspired speeches. So we uh, are inviting three very, very great inspirational speakers. They will be pronounced soon online. That's why I'm not naming them right now. Um, and we, in, in these talks, they will try to inspire us and launch the event and actually tell about what they have been doing for the cause and in what ways, etc. So these uh, talks, um, we, we have not previewed to, to record them, unfortunately, because the, it's been important for us to get the people uh, to come to Toulouse, even everyone, delegates and our speakers. Maybe we can discuss that with, first of all, the speakers and within the team. Then there is a debate, and the debate, um, that, that, that is something that we can see with the debaters if we can record. Normally, it's a, it's a bit longer, uh, so it would be a substantial recording. Uh, but that could be exciting to record and uh, easier on the organizational side. And then the workshops and the, the final presentations. Perhaps we could record the final presentations with all the, the con conclusions and recommendations because that's one of the main takeaways from the event. Um, so we would like to like I said many times, reach out to a large audience, but there are other issues with the recordings, uh, which we have to adhere to. So thank you for that. We will keep that in mind because it's very important to us as well to keep as much information uh, even afterwards uh, for the post-processing for us. So uh, we will look into that, definitely. Uh, can SGC alumni be accepted to participate? Yes, Filippo Mendoza. Um, we have not uh, seen that it's not possible from the SGC side. We have to perhaps ask them on the more, um, let's say, official legal side of things, because it's, but SGC alumni are still SGC uh, members, maybe not the members in the, let's say, in the first the description, in the first definition, but. Um, I don't see a reason why not. Uh, maybe uh, Nicola and Clara, you can, uh, if you know already the answer or if you would like to take a look with the SJC team and uh, get back to get back to us about that. Not right now, obviously. Um, yeah, so from, from what I know, um, you, well, you need to have an account on the SJC website to apply to the event. So having an account, it means that you basically you need an email address and that's it. Uh, but they also need to check that you're, you're in the um, correct um, age limit. So I don't know about uh, alumni. Uh, I think we will ask for it. I, I'm not very sure. I think you need to be between 18 and 35 years old. But uh, we can ask because as you yeah, yeah, I mean, Maybe if you have the account already, it, it will work. Yes, because if you go on the website of uh, SG France, did we give the website in the chat? Yeah. Maybe we could drop a link. Um, yeah. Yes, so in there, if you go, it's on the general website that you register and uh, you only need to log in into your account. And if you have an account, 
then I see no reason why you mm -hmm. would register by the rules. So. And um, in the meanwhile, uh, we can also show you how to to register to the event. So if you write SG France 2020, um, on the first link on the website, okay, so you have all the information you need about, uh, about the event and um, about the call for artwork, about the roundtable details, etc. And then at the bottom of the page, nope, <laughs> um, where was it? Uh, yes, but you, you need to log oh, in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm not logged in. Um, <laughs> wait a minute. So in the meanwhile, um, for the call for artwork, uh, the link is not working. Thank you, Marco, for, for noticing. Uh, in fact, it will be fixed in a, in a few days. It's just a matter of days. But the call for artwork is still open. So don't hesitate to, to prepare your ideas and to, to be ready to apply. We will exhibit um, what we received during the, the event, during the SG France. So it would be very exciting to see all, all the artworks. Thank you for the support, Marco. So if you can see my screen, so at the at the bottom of the of the event page, you have a form where you can uh, fill fill in your information. Uh, there are a few questions about your motivations and uh, where do you come from, and um, and that's it. You you can choose uh, which working group you would be interested to be part of, and um, and just hit the submit button to to apply. So, um, two, two information about uh, this application. So first, uh, we, well, we hope we can welcome everyone, but if we receive too many applications, uh, we will have to, to make a selection. Uh, hopefully we will not because we would like everyone to be here, but for organization reasons, uh, we, we can't welcome everyone. Um, so if we do need to make a selection, we will make it upon the um, three questions. Maybe Nicola, you can, um yeah so the three questions uh you can have here so why would why would you like to attend the event uh, if you have any relevant experience related to the subject and um and what does the equality in the space sector mean to you uh so it is written below that we we will make the our decision uh upon these questions but uh, so once again, maybe we will not make any selections. And uh, the last point is about the, um, the working groups. So we are asking you um, which one would you like to be part of, just so we know um, how many people are interested in uh, in the working groups. But the final decision will be make uh, will be made. Sorry, uh, once we we have the final list of delegates. So what will happen is that, um, as Nicola told you already. Uh, on the 16th of August, you will be notified if you're selected or not to participate to the event. And then you will have uh, one week or two to, to pay for the event and, uh, and to confirm you, your subscription. And when you confirm this, the, 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 subscri the subscription, sorry, <laughs> uh, you will choose uh, once and for all the working group. And uh, there is a limited number of um, of um, participants in each working group. So first one, first one arrived, first uh, one to choose uh, which one you would like to be part of. But you, you shouldn't be too worried because the four working groups are very interesting. So you will find uh, something uh, in the end. And on that note, I would like to add is um, we've been getting a little bit of um, concerns or questions from delegates, potential delegates. Uh, some of them expressed the fear that they are not expert enough on the topics to come and talk about it. And that's exactly not, I want to say the right attitude in the sense that we, we're all um, part of the conversation. Like it or not, know it or not, whether you're actively part of the conversation or not, 
you are part of the conversation about diversity and inclusion. Either you are actively in it or you're just passively in it and you're not maybe even considering it that, that much. But we are all in it. So you don't need to be an expert. And um, if you like, I don't know how you can be an expert in such a broad thing that is um, an issue everywhere in the world. It's a bit too grand of a field to become the expert in. So the idea is that you join because you are passionate about it, because you're interested about it, because you have faced or seen some problems, or because you would like the next space generation to be more balanced, more inclusive, more diverse. Um, just you have this aspiration, you have this interest towards the, the ideas, towards the event, and you join. You definitely do not need to be an expert. And the questions we're asking on the application form is just already to know our, our delegates better and to prepare a better ground for you in terms of you know preparation materials or in terms of the small specific discussions that we can integrate. It's not to get um, an understanding of who's an expert on this issue, not at all. So don't uh, be even for a second scared about the fact that you may have not given it too much thought before possibly get you interested more. Uh, the debate that we have mentioned on the day, it's actually, it will be a prepared debate by professional debaters, actually, because they have, um, these people have uh, done many debates and um, many years of debating, actually. And it will be on the topic of positive discrimination, whether or not it is a positive thing in itself. And so the idea is that these people will come and present uh, good arguments, <laughs> and they will put on a show, really, um, in, in a specific style of debating that they have been practicing. And then we will open up the discussion for the general public, because that's the way uh, it goes in a lot of debating championships. So that's another thing not to be scared of, in case you were wondering if you would have to debate in front of many people. No, it's actually, we will debate for you, bring the arguments for you, and then the audience will choose who wins. And then the audience will be able to um, take part in it afterwards and discuss and maybe ask, ask questions to the participants, etc. Have we got a new question? Uh, can you give me some examples of what kind of things you do? So um, we've presented the activities of Arjan Klieb for um, like the second half of the presentation. So not to repeat on what I've said previously, I could tell you about another thing we haven't actually presented. It's called our Gently magazine. In the magazine, the first issue of which will be issued for Toulouse event in September. So we're working on it currently. In the magazine, the idea is to do part inspiration, part, inspiration, part research, part uh, perhaps education, and part entertainment. So it will be a compilation of a lot of resources. You'll be, find, you'll be able to find um, podcasts to listen to, books to read, articles to read, movies to watch that you may have not seen that are raising awareness about diversity and inclusivity in the space and aerospace sector. Then we're doing interviews with um, remarkable women that are currently making huge success in the space and aerospace sector. We are interviewing them specifically for our Gently magazine to give their insights and to maybe uh, get in touch and look at what they have done and maybe that will inspire us or just to learn more about their initiatives and their lives. And we're trying to do that also globally. We're trying to find women that are, in, that are inspiring from all over the globe. And in um, Balance to that, we are also making portraits of women from all over the globe as well that have made history in the space sector. And uh, we want to speak to as many SGC delegates in as many uh, countries as possible. So we're trying to do substantial research on that point. The entertaining part will be in the whole content of the magazine and also in the fact that you can, like I said previously, you can get uh, lots of resources and uh, new, um, for example, podcasts or books that you haven't heard of before because we're doing research for that for you. Um, and finally, 
Um, we will also include some artworks that we have received, maybe in the ones that we'll see what exactly what artworks we will receive, but um, that what we'll include, not to spoil too much about the magazine. But that's another um, activity that we're currently doing that I haven't presented before. And on the other uh, examples more generally, so we're trying to also work with our sponsors and partners. One of the examples I gave was the Mars Planet Society, and there are more ideas in the pipeline for our giant leap, is to try and come up with a strategy to tackle a concrete lack of information, lack of data, or concrete problem issue. Come up with a strategy and a solution that we as the young generation, as the next best generation at SJC as a whole, see as a solution and try to implement it within our sponsors or our partners to see if that works. So to give a concrete example, we would like to see if as the recommendations of this uh, SG France 2020 will come out and if we can implement any of these recommendations, for example, for the hiring process or for maybe mentorship strategies, maybe one of our partners will implement these strategies and then get back to us on to how, if it worked, if it didn't work and what, what happens so we post process the data and then go on with this to the larger SGC community and propose this as a solution that may work elsewhere. So maybe it will work if it works here in France, maybe it will work in the UK, maybe it will work in the US, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So these are the long-term plans um, of what we're working on. And uh, if you missed uh, the presentation, if you, the connection was on and off, uh, first of all, join the Slack. You will see more uh, details about this, the things that we're doing currently, and we can provide you with the slides if you like uh, on the, on our activities and just reach out to us. Thank you so much for all of you for staying uh, the whole hour with us. And thanks to you, to those of you who've asked questions and um, expressed your support. So maybe there is time for one more question or any remark you would like to make. Maybe something you haven't thought of. That would be great for us to know. Well, as it is a bit quiet, maybe it is time to close and to finally remind you to, first of all, thank you. <laughs> well, you're the best for being here. Thank you very much, everyone. And first of all, so look at the event online, go on the website, reach out to us for anything, use hashtag AskOGL, join the Slack just to take a peek and uh, see what we're doing and what maybe you drop an idea in the idea box and we implement it and it would be great for you to know that you contributed. If you like, get in touch with us. If you want to boost out the confidence in your, in your language of preference and uh, proficiency, in general, reach out to us. We have been quite uh, quick to respond to, to, with any questions. So, uh, we intend to continue to be that, so please just don't hesitate. And uh, thank you so much uh, for being here today. Thank you for my team, for everyone who is behind the scenes uh, for doing this, for helping us with, the, with everything actually, and even the slides. And how, thank you very much to all of you for being here. It's very important, like I said in the very beginning, Doing this, just being part of the conversation is the first step, absolutely necessary step, and uh, getting to know all perspectives and all questions and just hearing and listening to others. That's the most important thing for inclusivity as a first step. So thanks to you all. We're going to close on this. And uh, Yeah, thank you thank so you. much, everyone. It's yeah, so nice to you. see your support and, and all, all of what you've been doing so far. So thank you so much.